Hey yo, what's up everybody? Uh, welcome back to another one. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, like, comment, share. Um, if you're new, hit the subscribe button, man. I'm posting really great quality content. As you can see with the thumbnail, as you can see with the title, uh, I'm kind of discussing stress today. And as a person that's in their 20s, navigating my way through life, and hopefully I'm speaking to people in their 20s and stuff like that, um, hopefully we can find common ground uh, on this stress topic. I deal with a lot of stress. Um, I think I've dealt with a lot of stress all my life, which makes me no expert, uh, by the way just makes me a person that has dealt with a lot of stress and hopefully can help others navigate their way around stress but yeah let's get into it man uh i think i'm gonna google what stress is so that like we already know and can define it firstly so um it says in psychology stress is a feeling of emotional strain and pressure stress is a type of psychological pain all right Small amounts of stress may be beneficial as it can improve athletic performance, motivation, and reaction to the environment. Great, right? So I think with that description already, we can see that stress is not always a bad thing. Stress can be good. So moderate amount of stress or enough stress can be great. But once it goes over the top, then it's bad. Uh, there's... Um, some a lady that spoke to us at work she was just helping us deal with stress and stuff like that which i thought was cool she shared um, a really really great graph which shows um on the one side on the what is it the y-axis it had uh performance and on the x-axis it had pressure so small amounts of pressure um leads to boredom which means it kind of puts you under low performance at the corner there and then like mild mild to medium amounts of pressure kind of put you in a comfort state and then enough pressure puts you at a position where you call with called stretched and anything above that starts making you feel that starts becoming bad and starts becoming critical and you you perform badly and stuff like that but yeah Let's get into like my story of how I started experiencing stress. I started experiencing stress a lot back in high school, high school, because I was in a high performance school. Um, it's a school with athletes where uh, you need to perform at a high level. 120 of the best South African players in South Africa put together in one school, and you need to be the cream of the crop out of that group, which leads you to so much amounts of pressure. Then the second stage, I think, was in varsity where I had academic pressure. I was a student athlete as well and I needed to perform really well like on the pitch and I needed to perform really well like academically and man God willingly and blessingly I managed to do both like I, I managed to find a balance between both which kind of makes me feel comfortable about giving um, what giving advice about stress because I think I've kind of managed it well although like I fail in so many I fail so many times but I think I've been able to handle it well doing the many stuff that I do and now I experience stress in the workspace in my 20s where I, de I have to deal with financial stress I know you guys are dealing with financial stress this is such a bad economy and you're this like uh, I think you saw what this kid right now, like, ooh, I woke up, like, I wake up, I have bad dreams, like, because of the stress that I experience, and which leads me to, you know, indicators. I think we'll get into that, like, after, after this clip. I just wanted to kind of, like, describe what stress is, and then we'll just get into it as the video goes on. But yeah, I love creating vlogs, I love making content on lifestyle, so why not mix lifestyle and a little bit of like um educational content right so yeah man today we're talking stress and i'm feeling really stressed already this week it's media um i feel like i, I haven't achieved some of the goals that i wanted to achieve and the anxiety is starting to weigh a little bit hard on me um 
but yeah, man, uh, I'm going to hit the shower right now. Um, brush my teeth already. I need to make um, oats and eat and do a little bit of some exercise. But yeah, man, we'll get into some of the indicators of stress and how you can manage stress um, as we go on with this vlog. So, man, shout out, man. Hit the like button, subscribe. Share with your friends and your family. You know the vibes and the vibes are immaculate. <laughs> breakfast now but like am I gonna eat in a dirty place I forgot like last night was load shedding so I kind of slept in load shedding and like I ate with all of this mess up here so uh, let's get to cleaning is it just me or like finding the pockets of like these plastics is like the greatest mission of all time. I can never find it like that. Just made this amazing oats meal. Oats is my go-to every single day, and it tastes amazing. I've cleaned a little bit, which leaves some kind of tends to free me up a little bit. But yeah, let's get into the indicators. Because what are my indicators when I'm stressed? I tend to feel that I'm sometimes I start to feel like angry. I've got anxiety. Sometimes I get headaches. I lose my appetite a lot, long periods of sadness, 
I'm afraid to say like depression or something like that because I've never been diagnosed with that and yeah I don't think I, I've, I've got depression <laughs> you never know but yeah I'm gonna say long forms long long periods of sadness but yeah those are my indicators when I'm stressed I'm just about to have my meal and then I'm gonna go to the gym after this or maybe I'm at gym at home I don't know what this is but yeah, uh, and then we'll get to how to manage stress after that, man. This, this is amazing. Eating healthy is one of those ways that help you manage stress. But we'll get into that a bit later. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Man. Yeah, so guys, um, yeah, I am feeling like stress uh, I feel like doing an activity relaxing activity that will kind of like I don't know help me in some way so there's a hiking trail close by to where I stay it's like 10 minutes away I don't even want to hike but like these waters and I think water helps me relax and seeing nature helps me relax so I'm actually just gonna go there just to I don't know, look at the place, and see if it's, you know, uh, if it'll just help me out with my, just alleviate a little bit of my stress, man, calm me down, yeah, and then maybe I can gym after that, yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm back and that was not relaxing at all. It was okay, but like, I kept on having anxiety and like the amount of work that I still have left that I still need to do. And yeah, mm. let me get to work, man. Let me get to put some work. I think I wanted to do like more and more content for you guys, but I think I'm gonna get to work. But yeah, maybe uh, let's get into like how to manage your stress levels. Um, I think one of the great ways that I found that can manage my stress levels, I'm gonna I wrote some of them down so I don't like forget. So a great way was eating healthy, right? Best way, eating healthy for me helps. Um, getting enough sleep. I realize sometimes like I push myself to work so hard that I don't get enough sleep. Um, less alcohol. 
I drink a lot of alcohol and then I feel like it masks out my problems but then they end up coming back again and you end up waking up so tired the following day and you're so fatigued that you end up missing or wasting an entire day uh, plan enjoyable activities I try to like you just see now I tried going out for hiking and stuff um, great support structure man having great friends having great family members that are available in your life it's a good structure but also it kind of sucks for me because when i'm going through a lot of stress or a stressful time i tend to block away everyone i don't want to contact everyone i don't feel like getting people like tired getting tired of me like complaining or hearing about my issues so yeah, but a great support structure house people that will be there for you regardless. And yeah, man, meditation. Uh, I want to go to church today as well. Um, hopefully I'll get the chance to go to church. And I can put in some prayers there and stuff like that. But yeah, let me get to work before I get it. Ah! <laughs>